And the weekend in Virginia was, you know, there's a lot of positives we can take out of it, and that's sometimes hard when you when you you haven't scored a goal and you've conceded six. But you know, that's a, that's a funny thing to look at. But I, but I think we do look at a lot of positives. We saw some players individually grow over the weekend. They were put in positions where they had to. John Cloutier, who's one of our freshmen from Hawaii, you know, really had to grow into his position. I think he really is starting to see the the fruits of his labor. Um, you know, and also as a team, you know, we, we were able to regroup in, in our games and, and the play is much better. Um, it's entertaining. I think the effort that the guys are giving, I cannot ask for any more effort than we're getting right now. And, you know, we just have to get a little luck on our sides. You know, I, I think these are two good teams. Um, you know, it's one thing to go away and lose to, to teams that aren't at your level, but I think these are two teams that we can look at and say, okay, what, what's the measuring stick? And, and you'll see both, both of these programs when you marry in Old Dominion in, in the national spotlight at some point. So I think that's a really exciting thing for us. I think we need to look, look at our seniors and look at the guys who are uh, the veterans of our, of our program and, and, you know, the Michael Tankey and, and Peyton Warwick and, and, and uh, certainly Matt Price um, to come through and, and be the backbone. And those guys have to be the ones that step up. You know, John Pereira has been outstanding this season. Um, we're really excited about him being a local kid. And also, John's worked real hard to get where he is. And JP's is another one that we're going to look to. Yeah, being at home is exciting. I mean, the guys love playing the, the, the preseason games. You know, those were really nice to play in our, our home field. Um, you know, it, it's a special place here. One of the things that we always we always use in our recruiting is our field. And our field, it's a great surface, playing on it at night particularly under the lights. It's special for our players. And, and we haven't been able to beat them yet. And uh, that's that's been tough, you know. But, uh, but you know, I mean, Garrett's got a good squad. He's he's uh, done a fantastic job with Siena. I mean, uh, the, the, the difference between the program when he got there and where it is now is is uh, astronomical as far as I'm concerned. You know, he's got quality players, got quality kids. They play a good brand of soccer. That's why we want to play them. I think we're both in a, in a, in a similar stage as far as getting things going and rolling. And so I, I anticipate this being a really good game. Uh, this weekend, I think we're really excited to be having our third annual grassroots soccer uh, donation game. Um, it's, it's been a little bit of a um, kind of a project for us over the time I've been here. I, you know, I was fortunate enough to coach two of the founders uh, of Grassroots Soccer, Dr. Tommy Clark and Matembe Lovu, who at Dartmouth College when I was assistant. And, and they, they've, they've uh, started this organization and solely built it. It's, it's an AIDS education, an HIV education uh, program for for kids in Africa, and they use soccer to educate them about, you know, what what uh, contracting the disease is, how it affects families, how it affects communities, and and so we felt like uh, this is something that we could latch on that, that our players have a, a a bit of an attachment to because of the game and and uh, how soccer can be used. It's an international game, so we're really excited about it. We we hope that that uh, people understand where we're going with this and what we're doing. We've raised a couple thousand dollars each game over the last couple of years, so, so we want people to come and donate um, to, to the cause. And the game, you know, getting the mission is free, but, but can you donate? Um, can you help us? Um, and, and we're hoping that this is something just a little part of what we can do to help uh, to kids around the world. And you know, being a father and having children myself, I think it's uh, something that it really uh, tugs at the heartstrings a little bit, and, um, and hopefully we can do something with it.